I feel like we we sort of have to go Crimson Crimson Curse there. Like we we got to go down in the Crimson Court now. We have the cash now. We finally got our cash pumped back up. Speaking of which, can we do the puppet theater? No, nope, we still need 12 crests to build the puppet theater. Man, that thing is expensive. We also have 40 deeds, which honestly we really need to use here at the blacksmith. I think we got to go for weapons or armor. This also is going to use 35 crests, but it's fine. I think we got to go weapon smithing. Fan the flames, mold the metal. We are raising an Head over army. to the old stagecoach. Anybody here we want? We already have two jesters. I have an arbalist. I have an abomination, and I actively dislike them. And I definitely don't want Teller the Arquarian here, especially without Pen Gillette. I mean, come on. You can't have Teller without Pen. That's just breaking the rules. So, do we head down into the Crimson Court then? I think, unless there's something really, really tempting here. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to go fight the Siren for that. Unless there's something else that just I can't say no to from a trinket perspective. Suffering's Collar. Bonus Bleed, Bonus Blight Resist if your health is low. That's actually a pretty good item, but no. Quick Draw Charm's really good. The Candle of Life is basically bullshit. Nah. Uh, the Book of Holiness is excellent. Oh, the Book of Holiness lowers your death blow resist now, though. That's actually terrible, then. That item is garbage. Nope, we're going to the courtyard, then. Sharpened letter opener. Okay, I mean, it's pretty good. Baron's Lash, the Viscount's Invitation. Yeah, we only have, like, a billion of them. I think we're okay. Catch you later. Yep. All right, Night Iscar, thanks for hanging out, bro. Oh, it was that Architect taking off. Architect, thanks for hanging out, brother. Are we streaming on Friday? Yeah, we're going to be streaming on Friday. You know it. Our goal was to get somebody to rank three so that it was supposed to, we were supposed to get Bianca to rank. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going into Crimson Court. I'm tired of fighting exclusively Crimson Court monsters. Let's do this. So this team is Othello, Malvolio, Perdita, and I'm sorry, Lady Macbeth, but, you know, despite, like, five trips into the Crimson Court, you actually haven't come down with the Crimson Curse yet. At this point, I'm beginning to think maybe you're just immune. So let's get these guys tooled up here. Death Blow Resist is good. Actually, what we really want... You know, the Mercurial Salve has got some real interesting opportunities here. Where's the item that gives us less... We want the Coven Signet, right? Okay, that's a must-have. And I think maybe we'll just go with the Flagellant's Collar. Then for Othello, we want... You know, the Mercurial Salve is actually excellent here. We could go for a Hero's Ring. What else have we got? Bonus damage versus human is not bad, although it tanks our dodge, which is pretty good. I don't want bonus stress items. Don't need bleed skill. Dark Bracer, never going to matter. This Steady Bracer, we actually should just sell. We don't need that. Damage Stone, we don't need Scouting. Uh, the Swordsman's Crest is actually, you know what? Really good. It lowers his healing, but our healing is a joke anyway. Bonus 15% damage from melee, plus 25% damage against Bloodsuckers. We're going to be hitting really hard with Othello. I like that. Bianca, nothing fancy here. You're just taking the Dissection Kit, and we're going to give you a Blight Amulet. Now, Perdita is probably just going to be a Haste Chalice and a Chirurgeon's Charm. Is there anything better we could give her? Not really. Good stress control with this team. Am I on Twitch as well as YouTube? Yes, actually. You're not seeing everyone's comments here. I, I stream to both locations at the same time, Leslie. I do one to Twitch. I go to Twitch and also to YouTube. Junia's head. Yeah, very funny, chat. Very funny. If only we still had Junia's head, we would equip it, but we kind of don't because it got stolen when we died, if you recall. Haven't seen the flagellant use. Flagellants are excellent, Iskar. They're real good. Like, borderline broken good. So that's got our trinkets sorted. Yes, I know. It will consume an invitation. Let's, let's go do it. What do we want to take, then? Well, we're going to take one stack of torches and... 
I think a full stack of blood? Yeah, most of our team has the Crimson Curse. Let's just be a little overprepared to take a full stack of blood. Give me a six bandages. Is that a full stack of bandages? Yeah, give me a full stack of bandages. Full stack of anti-venom. Shovels? Give me four shovels. You know, we haven't actually ever needed a key down there. Medicinal herbs, I'm only going to take two. We want all of the food, because basically trips into the Crimson Court are limited exclusively by supplies. We have like two things of holy water. I don't remember holy water actually being useful for anything. Let's take a couple extra torches. We don't really need torches that much in the Crimson Court. And somebody's like, Pete, you can use those torches to get an accuracy. Yes, I'm aware you can use torches to get an accuracy bonus. It just it barely matters is all. This team is great unless you get shuffled. Yeah, they're not... Uh, that's one of the reasons why they're not so great. They do have trouble with uh, they have trouble with the shuffle, admittedly. All right, so where were we here? We've explored like a shitload of the Crimson Courtyard, so we are here. We need to check. We don't actually need to check out this room. We do need to check out this way. We want to go here and here. Any room that has a fight in it, effectively, we want to go check out. All right, let's go check out this Kyrio. Right, who's on trap duty for this? Where is the trap? We know there's a trap here, but is there no way to disarm it? Oh, here it is. Okay. So who's got traps? You got 50, 60, 70. Oh. Lady Macbeth set it off. It's probably going to be an ambush. Ancient That's fine. traps lie in wait. Ancient traps lie in wait. And thirsting for blood. Okay. Let's get off quick and get off strong. Maddening wine can take a little stress here. That's fine. This team has excellent stress management. We're not worried about it. Smack you with the big old blight. A little pre-digestion. You can take some damage here. That's fine. Malvolio loves your damage. He want, He needs you to hit him. He wants you to hit him. He needs you to hit him. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. In fact, we're gonna. Uh -oh. Feels as though sand pushes through my veins. Oh, thanks for giving everybody. Sh you know, you're just gonna have to eat that stress, right? You realize the only person who's handling that stress is you. Let's get rid of your blight. Might as well go for the AOE heal. Let's just patch Ooh. everybody up to full. Really, I'm just trying to farm okay, crits here for a little stress relief. If we eat eight, we're going to pick up seven. That's a one-point gain. That hardly seems worth it. Just kill it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I was hopeful we might be able to get stress relief off of uh, Othello there, but apparently Othello was too busy worrying about Desdemona and her handkerchief. Also, I really wish the map would recenter on your party when it goes back. Normally, it's not an issue because the maps aren't so big, but in this... You know what? No, I'm not talking about that. We give that man blood, he gives us garbage water trinkets. We give him nothing, and he gives us a disease. I'm just, I'm not having it. I just, you're going to see, I'm going to treat him the way I treat actual homeless people. Just, when I see him on the street, be like, nah. Okay, blood flowers. Let's give you blood. Okay, blood does nothing for blood flowers. The most logical outcome is that it does nothing. You're craving, you're craving, you are wasting. Well, let's... Let's tone that down a little bit. I'll let you crave. I'm not going to let you. Don't investigate. A fortune. All right. Waiting to be spent. Wow, what are the odds a homeless person gave us precious stones? That's like the least likely encounter with the homeless person of all time. Be like, hey, how's it going? You want, uh, you want some money? I mean, normally doesn't this go the other way? Yeah, I'm feeling generous today. The panhandling has been going really well. Some dude earlier gave me a bunch of rich stuff, and I was like, hey, my marble bag is full, and I'm not going to be able to haul this out of one-eyed willy ship. I might as well spread the love. You don't know that they are homeless? I mean, that guy, he kind of he kind of looks homeless to me. Also, everybody that lives in this hamlet is homeless because our ancestral castle has been razed to the ground. We're all homeless. Oh. 
Let's start putting the hurt on this ghoul. I'm more worried about the ghoul than I am about this. I love the pimp slap. I'm actually more worried about the ghoul than I am about this lady, because if she gives this guy the minuet buff, he can hit ridiculously hard. And we should very much like to avoid having him hit us ridiculously hard. Which is good, because he now has fatal damage. That's fine, Malvolio likes your damage. Go ahead, bring it all on to him. He wants it. He needs you to hurt him. He likes it. He likes it when you make it. He wants it. He loves it when you make it hurt. Loves it when you make it hurt so good. I didn't want to punch him, I just didn't want to take stress for passing. Nice shot from Perdita, softening up the Cortison back there. 18 point lead on that dude. Blade. Let's go ahead and get you softened up. That is fatal damage. And we definitely, mind your man, just gonna pimp slap me? Hey, bitch. I see how it's gonna be. Let's do a little stress relief. Critical stress relief for Othello. Beautiful. You know what? Let's just go AOE heal. We don't really need any more stress relief. I mean, I feel like we're pretty good. Would Harvey Weinstein sexually the harass the Cortison? Well, you're sort of getting into a... Uh, a bit of a, like, linguistic challenge here, chat. I'm... Like, is it possible to sexually harass a Cortison? I think is the thing. I mean, if you're paying someone specifically for sex... I don't, I don't know as it's, I don't know as you can harass that person. You just be like, hey, I, I want to give you a hundred dollars if you'll have sex with me. And if they agree to the transaction. You know what? This worked last time. Rob the homeless. Yeah, it didn't work so well that time. So you have to wait for the homeless to just generously give you stuff. If you go out specifically to rob the homeless, it doesn't work as well. Othello doesn't mind taking loot from a homeless guy, but he's got a problem with stealing it. Uh, I don't remember what goes in the blood fountain. Probably blood. Let's just poke it. Alright, it does nothing. Well, whatever it was, we resisted. That might just have a chance to give us the Crimson Curse, I guess. I figured these would be symmetrical, but apparently they are not. I thought this would be the same on both sides. What do we got? Alright, a large corpse eater and a courtesan. Let's kill the courtesan. I don't want her giving the corpse eater a buff. I hate Minuet. That ability does way too much damage. You know what? Just kill her. If the bleed sticks, she's done. Alright, she's done. Now we'll start piling some blight on the old corpse chomps her here. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Yeah, you know, Wayne, I prefer to take my lives quickly and violently as opposed to slowly and gently. I don't know about what kind of life taking you're doing over there, Wayne June, but I feel like you're doing it wrong. You can devour a little bit of that stress, stack a little more blight on here. Probably pop this guy with a little bit of holy light from above. Craving speaks through you. Stop giving people stress, you jerk. How much you got on you? Five? Not How quickly Ouch. the tide turns. Alright, we didn't need that critical, more from a stress perspective than anything else. Eat that. Summon that back. Stand aside, I must do something really stupid. How about a little critical stress relief? That'll do. Okay, that's fatal damage for the corpse. Nope, he resisted. Son of a bitch. I wanted him to be blighted and then just die on his turn, but nothing doing. Tentacle Devour. Malvolio can take your damage. Oh, God's that odor. Did Malvolio fart? What odor? He's a connoisseur of murder. Are we talking about Wayne June? He's, he's, he really, he's like a... He's got that Somalia, the, the, the wine affiliate aficionado thing going to sommelier. It's a fine murder, slow and piquant with a gentle aftertaste. It's the, the perfect flavor to company like, say, a fish dish. Pete, you're just sitting here taking damage for no reason. No, I have a reason. I'm just trying to get rid of some stress here. Now I will kill this. Cursed champion falls. And we got some blood out of it. 
You're craving, you're... Cra you know what? Wait until you're wasting. You're not getting any blood until it's like the absolute last possible second. I'm sorry. I don't feed my vampires until I have to, especially when I'm in the Crimson Court. Supplies are the limiting factor now. We can actually do some pretty ruinous shit with the surprise here. You know, that was just uncalled for, man. I still want this... Psych I want the Cortison dead before anything else still. Got the bleed. Okay, let's go... Stun? Perfect. And then Jacques? That's my boy, Othello! Othello doing solid work right there. The Jacques for the win. Take a little maddening line. That's fine, we can eat that stress. We just don't want Lady Macbeth to wind up with the Crimson Curse. Bleed stick, she's dead. Stuck it. He sticks the bleed. Taking Malvolio for the first. That's fine, we want him hurt. Bring the pain. We're not going to get you... Before you get a turn. So let's set you up to die two turns from now with no intervention. You know, we could... Never mind. Continue the onslaught. Turns out we wasted Destroy that blight, but that's them. fine. Oh, shit, the Cortison still has a... Don't get Crimson Curse, though. All right. Couldn't give me one more hit point, you jerk. As the fiend falls... Needed one hit point there. One. That should be fatal damage on Spider Woman. Is it? Yeah, that's fatal damage on Spider Woman. So let's have you do that. Eat up 15 of that stress, and then we'll go ahead and get rid of all that. Plus some. And you're dead. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Eat the food, take the gold. Eat the food, take the gold. It's the Perfidious Pete motto. Okay, more scouting. What do we got? How much more dungeon could there possibly be in this dungeon? I really got enough. Gotcha. Good work, guys. Fantastic job. We could have just burned that and gotten 30 stress relief, but instead we're going to get into a fight now. Thanks. Strike. Yeah, that's fatal damage right there. Give you some blood. I'm the not going to give you blood. You can pass all you... Oh, you're wasting now. All right. Oh, you're Unforgiving. both wasting. Okay, I'll give you guys some blood. I didn't realize you were wasting. I thought you were... Okay. We'll, we'll pump you up a little bit. Rib crack. He shot me in the heart. That's just ungentlemanly, sir. Why, sir, you seem to have shot me square in the chest. That's most ungentlemanly of you. You cad? How dare you? Okay, would you get fucking shut your mouth about your fucking blood, you baby? Oh, I need some blood. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so sick of hearing about blood. Kill this man before he shoots someone else in the chest. Also, cure that blight. Gentlemen don't shoot each other in the chest. He held out his scarf while he was shooting you, though, so you got to give him a little credit. True, he was in scarfened. You're not wrong, but still, a true gentleman doesn't shoot another gentleman in the chest without, like, a week's warning, a written notice, and a formal invitation to a duel. That's just how polite society does it. That's how things are done in, in contemporary nobility. A week's notice is just genuine courtesy. You want to die already? The like any time you want to drop dead, that'd be fine. There you go. But never hidden. B. Bloodman Esquire over there, milking his part. Get rid of the citrine and take that onyx instead. Also, we didn't even need to pick a fight with B. Bloodman Esquire, actually. We could have just left him alone. Manner of trap. Seems like the fact that we had scouted this should have made. Oh, we forgot to give Perdita blood. We'll do that. Uh, 
Uh, here, drink this. Quit your damn whining now. Who has the most stress? You do. Okay, burn this. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I actually thought that was the one that gave you stress relief, but I guess it's not. Always love feeding my people blood. Bloodlust is good. Nah. You, you make them go crazy for it. You hold out till the last second, man. You can't just make with the blood. Haven't you ever learned anything about peddling heroin out on the streets, Clock Tower, man? You gotta wait until they're craving for it if you want the most bang for your buck. This fight actually sucks. I want to kill the courtesan first. I'm actually most concerned about it. With the bleed, we missed it by one. You know what? No, we didn't miss it by one. We stuck. I want that courtesan dead because we can jack you with these punks for huge damage. 24 aggregate. They're going to get a little bit of that back, but infallible servitude. Yeah, go ahead and guard them. That's fine. We're going to hit both of you with another Jacques in a minute. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. You can only edge for so long, Perfidious Pete. You're only hurting yourself. Well, it is bad for your prostate, chat. You're not wrong. Strike. Also, ow. That hurt a lot. Yeah, I know you're bleeding. There'll be none left for the leeches. If only you had some way to stop that. Oh, wait, never mind. 10 point heal for Perdita to pump us back up. Here comes the thirst. Okay, get ready to get Jacques used, by the way, shit biscuits. Gibbering Entourage. Interesting. Also, we didn't. Why did that do so little damage? Oh, because they have huge. Per Unnerved. Unbalanced. Okay. This guy only criticals, by the way, now. How much... Yeah, you're dead on the top of your next turn. You know what? I don't normally have you do this, but go ahead and throw a heal. We're actually pretty banged up. And we have an absolute metric ton of stress. Heal yourself. These guys are fucking wrecking our shit, actually. You're dead. Kill this guy. Eradicated. Yeah, where was that a second ago when we needed it, punk? Plus 50% protection, huh? Well, let's make sure he dies before he gets another turn. We'll whack him with some more blight. And then we gotta devour some stress here. We're in serious stress trouble. Well, we picked up another vial. This expedition right, here. at least promises use bandage. success. Also, use a bandage. Who's hurt? You're desperately hurt. Eat this food. Uh, burn the torch and give ourselves an accuracy bonus. Do I want the portraits? I mean, sort of. Honestly, eat a little more here. We could just... And yeah, you know what? No, the portraits are have to go by the wayside. All of the other things we have in our inventory are more important. And also, we're going to heal a little bit because we do still have a restoration pump. Up. Didn't know they could roll a double guard. So this is a dead end. Perfect. Glad we came down here. This dungeon, though, is just too big. Disarm that trap. Oh. That's the second time we've missed on a trap with an 80% chance. Singular purpose. Big ol' critical. That's gonna get us some stress relief and healing. Perfect. You know what? I don't want that guy hitting me. I would rather he just be dead. The a little three-point heal for Othello. I'm just trying to get some stress relief. But never hidden. Let's get a big critical stress heal out of that, and then we're gonna we're gonna grind some stress. Gather the blood as a stress attack. 
No. Okay. As long as it's not a stress attack, I honestly don't care. Trading 15 on 7. We might as well start putting some damage on this guy. We'll get him warmed up, and then we're going to let him linger like a cranberry song. Do you have to let him linger, Pete? Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel compelled. The wounds of war can be healed. Yeah, get rid of some stress on our... But never hidden. Old flagellant, gathering the blood a little bit. The little bit of damage this guy's doing to us is honestly pretty insignificant. It's, it doesn't really matter. We're going to group heal away all of that damage every turn. And the only reason we're doing this is we're trying to farm criticals to get more stress relief. And we'll just pile some more blight on him. He has fatal damage right now. And then we're just going to keep managing the old stress. There you go. 500 gold and a jade who can't take it. Brought low and driven into the mud. Did we really drive those guys into the mud, Wayne? I mean, we beat them, yeah, but I don't know if our victory was pronounced enough to say that we drove them into the mud. Are you wasting? Nah, you're just craving. Go ahead and crave it. It's fine. A lot of backtracking going on. So the question now becomes, chat, do we want to come check out this other way, which is going to probably be the mirror image of this and wind up having to backtrack again so we can just ultimately come down here? Or do we want to just straight up go down here and cut out the middle lane? We do take one stress for every tile we walk through this dungeon, but we have enough stress mitigation that that doesn't really feel like a huge problem. Let's check it out. There, you know, there are opportunities in these dungeons to pick up those set trinkets, and those set trinkets are just really, really good. Plus, who knows what other cure? I really okay. Somebody help me out. What do we do with blood flowers? I know we can shovel them. What does a shovel do? We found blood and a bunch of trinkets we can't carry. You know what? eat this food. Anybody else hurt at all? Throw that on the ground then and give me these crests. I'm tired of abandoning them. Alright, we got the triple manservant fight. This is actually a bad fight. We're going to take a lot of stress here and also these guys shuffle which our party is poorly, poorly equipped to deal with. Smash that man in the head. You know what? Kill him. I don't want to give anybody else another chance here. And then you can throw some blight at this dude. Could have gone for the stun there, but really I'd rather just have him dead. Infallible servitude. Okay, that's a guard, which is fine. We're going to holy lance this man. Destroyed. Get your shit pushed in, by the way. How's that feel? Little like anal? Yeah. Injury. Beautiful. We really needed that critical. On a 24 point damage stress attack attack. Well, we're going to get some of that back. Uh, please kill me. Nice dodge. My turn to critical shit biscuit. That is fatal damage, but I'm not going to be allowed to let you linger for that. Get my stress back. My main problem with manservants is they almost never lose speed rolls. You're dead. Anybody bleeding? Nope. Anybody marked? Nope. Anybody hurt? Yes. Look at the critical battlefield bandage. Go for the AOE here. And you die? You die. Six more crests. That fight really does not feel like it was worth it. Put the party back in order. He may be a pimp, but he got that slap. What's Pete got against anal? I don't know. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh. Excuse me? Indefatigable purpose. I had a fucking shovel. I know I clicked the finger, but it seems like if the shovel is in the pan. This is all that's in here is this man. You know, Hooded Shrew, if I had any room in my inventory, I might give you a vial of blood, but I don't, so I'm not going to. You can just chill here, and maybe when I come back, you'll be feeling more magnanimous. Now, don't, don't investigate shit. 
Don't. We have... Honestly, all you got of that was a tiny bleed. You got a light. Seen the new Star Wars trailer yet? No, I have actually haven't had time. I had a fairly busy day today, Chad. So it didn't get around. I'll probably, I'll check it out. I kind of am sort of not wanting to watch the trailer because I just don't want any sort of spoilers at all. I'm really looking for, oh, this is awful. Yeah, this is real bad, actually. We need to switch now. Two courtesans and these blood letters. If one of these guys minuets, we're going to be in real trouble. Let's put them on lockdown. Only got one. Jacques did not do as much damage as I would have liked. Trailer is decently spoiler free as far as trailers go. Eh. I'm sure I'll get around to seeing it at some point. Little pre digestion. Just don't critical. Alright. I don't care about the damage. Just don't critical me, bro. Let's go ahead and start putting some blight on these courtesans before one of them decides to dance a dangerous dance. No, we don't want you moving. Uh, I mean, I kind of need to stress relief, but also I really need to kill these guys. If we get a double minuet, that could be, like, tragic. There's a critical heal, though. Booyah. That was a big one. Mind your manners. What are you talking about? She just critically healed her friend. How is that discourteous in any way, shape, or form? Really was hoping we'd get at least one kill there. Don't, don't get the Crimson Curse. The dodge! I, you know what, Macbeth? I don't think Lady Macbeth can be brought low by the Crimson Curse. I mean, I think she's in all ways immune. That's some fatal damage, Pid. Also, let's eat some of this stress. We got these guys softened up to the point. That's fatal, right? You're done. All right. Um, ordinarily, I like to throw stress on our flagellant after he does a stress champ maneuver, but in this case, we've got so much. We need to we need to spread the love a little bit. Yes, and just don't critical. That's all I care about. Weakened. What was that all about, Wayne? Weakened, just out of the blue. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Yeah. Not too worried about the wounds of war, Wayne. This man only has one hit point. If we hit him, he dies. Let's just get rid of that blight instead. Stop beating up your friend. You hit her and stunned her. What an asshole. Guy's a jerk. Look, you left her wide open to having her blood gathered. That's on you, Othello. That's on you. Pete, are you really just going to sit here and grind stress relief for a while? Yep. Well, I mean, no, because we're going to get the Terry penalty. Ultimately. So let's go ahead and kill this guy. That was actually, I think, the last turn we could do that without As taking a penalty. Mount, I really so want this Churzen charm. We already have one, but two would be sort of useful. What debuff do you have? <sighs> if nothing else, it's worth more gold than an onyx. Don't. We can burn those for stress relief. Would you stop busting them open, you jerk? Kill that man before he doesn't give us due process before challenging us to a be duel. Healed, but never hidden. Yeah, thanks for the bonus stress. I appreciate that. Just because you're slightly hungry. This guy skips one meal and he turns into a real jerk. Ow. Okay, that attack sucks. You're dead now. <gasps> He's reposting! 
bombing, right? Bringing Ow. ears. Blurred vision. The okay, this is... Yeah. Okay, you're wasting... Fine, drink blood. I'm tired of listening to you, bitch. This fight is entirely your fault, by the way. I, that guy is reposting. Uh, hit the fly. Let's get rid of a couple of these bleeds. And then Jack Hughes. I fucking hate you. You're on, you're not even wasting. Yep, there he is, shooting us in the heart without due process again. That man is dead. He's still reposting, so our best bet here is to just go for the stress charm. We've seen so many horrors. Yeah, you know what? You'd see a hell of a lot less horrors if you'd honestly just stop opening these cocoons and let us use them for stress relief like we're supposed to. That's all I'm saying. You ain't repost if you're dead. Be wary. I really don't want to throw gold. Triumphant gold. pride precipitates a dizzying. You know fall. what? I'm tired of your shit. Drink the fucking blood. I want this 600. You know what? We are not using medicinal herbs at all. I'd rather have 600 gold than two medicinal herbs. This is the reason you slate their thirst. No, this is the reason you let them suffer. Imus Max, thanks very much for the follow. Welcome to the night, sir. I don't even know why I came this way. I mean, we knew there was nothing down here. We really did. Kill the little guy. Just to take the him out of the mix. Of war can be healed, but never hidden. We gotta get started on the corpse eater. Those guys are actually fairly dangerous. Fatal damage? Nope, he resisted it. Son of a bitch. Alright. Malvolio, you're gonna be doing nothing but chawing stress off of people for this whole fight, so get used to it, champ. Also, take that damage. You want it, you need the damage. There you go. Yeah, keep hitting him. Come on, pile it on. He's a big boy. He can take it. Your wounds are mounting. Ah, oh, if only you could uppercut a dude into oblivion. Oh, wait. You can just uppercut a dude into oblivion. Get some heals, put a little health back on our Plague Doctor back there. Hey, Doc, you want to... You know what? You're going to have a hard time sticking with the light here. It's starting to piss me off a little bit, honestly. Well, that large corpse eater is dead. Monstrous size has now we no want to leave this guy alive matters. for a couple turns, actually. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. You're craving again? I just gave you blood, bitch. I mean, it was literal seconds ago. You know what? No, you're not getting any more blood. That's it. You've had your fill. You can waste away and die. I don't care. We've got stress to manage. More munching. Yeah, missed me. Got an AOE heal. We need stress relief. We can kill this guy at the drop of a hat, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. Uh, more stress relief from my video. Insanguination is a cool word. Insanguination I don't think actually is a word. Exsanguinate is. More stress devouring. We actually need to get... Okay, we got a Terry penalty. Fine. Mostly we're wasting time with him because he missed two blights. So if you're looking for somebody to blame, you know who to pick. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I mean, Hive gets burned. We got a torch and 500 gold. All right. Boy, I'm glad we came all this way. Put the party back in the room. Click that button like six times before it finally worked. All right, this is it. 
As far as shuffles go, it could have been worse. Kill this shit missile. One shot killed! Perdita is not fucking around. Homeboy stepped up and got ruined. One solid bass to the face from the mace, and that was all she wrote. Yeah, it was a pretty good mace bash, chat. I, I, I'm on board with you. She, uh, gave him, that was a mighty wallop. Uh, at least Malvolio got the bleed. Impressive. Perdita is on fire this fight. She's handing out beatdowns. He's like, you want a beatdown? Step on up, chump. I'll give you a beatdown. Speaking of beatdowns, there was one. Yeah, I hate this ability. Alright. Midnight Minuet is real bad. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Kill... Does this guy... He already has fatal damage. Yep, okay. Lightning Bolt that bitch. She also now has fatal damage. Good. Don't both of you win back-to-back -back speed rolls. I want to get rid of some stress here. rid of that bleed. Come on, beat him. That's my boy. And you may die now. Thank you. Two vials of blood. A trifling victory. But don't have enough victory, room in our inventory. Do we need... We don't need... We actually have a full stack of anti-venom. We haven't even used any. I don't really need that citrine either. Um, you are bloodlusted. Here, just... Tired of listening to you complain. Anti-venom goes on the ground. Is that it? That's a dead end. Perfect. Alright, well, let's start backtracking then. I mean, we knew this was going to be a dead end. I am not going to go check out that room. The odds of there being a trinket in there are basically zero. I'm done. We're going to take a lot of stress here just from the backtracking. And there is no fight in this room either. It just that's where we left the homeless guy who wouldn't hand us over his worldly possessions. We we're like, hey, Mr. Homeless Man, you know, the last homeless guy we ran into just panhandling on the street gave us a bunch of precious stones. Oh, you're back to passive now? I guess your bloodlust is over. I suppose bloodlust does buy you more time before you have to feed them blood again. All right, who wants to talk to the sweaty old home? All right, here, you know what? You talk to him. Shrew's claws are like iron. I don't know what that did to you, but apparently it wasn't much of anything. Also, you just got clawed by a homeless lady. You should probably go get a tetanus shot. My pulse slows, the need abates. Just eat the food. Don't interrupt those kind of... Darkest Dungeon, don't interrupt those kind of things with chat marks, by the way. Don't make our troopers refuse to eat at a hunger prompt. That's just fucking stupid. All you're doing is making me click the damn button twice. If it's a forced prompt, just make it work. Tick, tick, tick. On we go. Into the dungeon. Let's go. Come on. Step it up. It's been a while since we've done anything. We're just wandering around now like assholes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, team. Move it. Hop. Do it. Skippity. What the hell is this thing? Forgotten delicacies. Uh, probably we need medicinal herbs for those. Yep. I don't know what disease you're going to give me when I already have the Crimson Curse, though. I mean, I already have the worst disease. Is this an empty room? Okay. How fucking big is this dungeon, though? 
at some point. Oh. Hmm. See that some of the bottles are still intact. So what should we use on a crate? Holy water? Nope. Anti-venom to unpoison the wine. Aha! Oh, well, okay. A pleasant vintage. Anti-venom unpoisoned the wine got us some stress relief. Sweet. Oh, we could have camped if we had used a shovel, huh? Oh, alright, well... We're fine. We don't really need to camp. We're doing okay. Kill this man before he skewers everyone, though. Big ol' critical heal. Yeah, this man still needs to be dead, though. That fatal damage? That's fatal damage. Now we can do whatever we want. Shovel. You know, you can shout that in chat all day, but that was like a minute and a half ago, chat. There's a delay. You're never going to be able to warn me in time. I appreciate the effort. I honestly do, but you're never going to be fast enough to save me from my own stupidity. It's just not going to happen. Also, we could the stress relief was useful. We got 30 stress relief out of it. On a person that we desperately needed stress relief on. So, you know, it's kind of a win-win. A powerful blow. It's fatal damage, by the way, so we can concentrate on relieving our stress with the rest of our actions. Success so clearly in view. Uh, we don't really need any of this. You know what? Drink the light. Holy water. I'll take those buffs. Another one of these. No, don't. Okay. This one is just full of gold. For a task well performed. That we actually can't. You know what? Here, let's this drink this. Also drink this. Also, I just like the irony of vampires drinking holy water. That's like Louie in interview. He's like, "Can you? What about crucifixes? Can you look at them?" Actually, I'm quite fond of looking at crucifixes. What about holy water? Can you drink it? Actually, I'm quite fond of drinking holy water. It's very blasphemous. What the fuck is this? What are you? A disturbing diversion. Um, hmm, maybe a shovel. Yep. What say does put treasure gold, in its skull? Trinkets and baubles. This. This. Paid for in blood. Um. Hmm. I really want these portraits. I really don't want to give up an absolute fortune in gold to get them. However, I'm getting rid of the bandages. At some point, we're gonna to have to check out of the damn Crimson Court again without finding the Baron. Simply not because we need to leave, but because we've got so damn much loot, I don't want to throw any more stuff on the ground. Here, I just... No, that was not the right person, though, was it? We have infinite blood. I am the Fury. What are you, a Baratheon suddenly? You too, huh? All right, whatever. Just Let's just drink all the blood. Fuck it. Let's just have a blood party. I am the Fury. Yeah, yeah. Go start a revolt that brings an entire kingdom low then, Mr. I am the Fury. All over a girlfriend who didn't want you in the first place. Be dead. Nope, we didn't get him. We're gonna have to hit him again, too. Enraging Slight. Don't hit me with stress attacks. I don't care what you do, just don't hit me with stress attacks. That's literally the one thing I don't want. We stun the only one that matters. Jacques? See, suddenly he does 16 damage on a Jacques? Where was that earlier? Where was that damage earlier when we needed it, Othello? You jerk. Whale on that man. We're going to have to hit him with a Blight attack, too, because that's not fatal. It's fatal now, whether the Blight sticks or not. 
lightning bolt from the sky to obliterate you. Perfect. All right, this is coming around. You guys can't decide who wants to be in front more. Well, too bad you're actually not going to fight. Abatement. You can rush up there and get vomited on by Jeff Goldblum. It's a fly joke. Jeff Goldblum was in the fly. Nice critical, Lady Macbeth got four points of healing and got rid of our blight. You know what? Let's pump a big deal into a fellow. Of war I want to get everybody hit. fully patched up here and but do some. Hidden. We've got at least one more round of stress relief before we have to worry about a Terry penalty. Don't get to Crimson Curse though, Lady Macbeth. Who's got the most? Well, the thing is, is you have the most stress. You should really not be eating it. We should be doing stress relief on you. We drop a bolt from the blue on this guy. I just want to get him a little closer to dead because we're still going for stress relief. There's what we needed right there. Nice stress relief critical. This man dies before his next turn, but honestly, I feel like maybe we should kill him before that because I don't want to take... Well, we didn't take a Terry penalty. Never mind. 34, 27, 29... You off a bunch of that. And we're going to go for the AoE heal. Minimal healing. That's exactly what we needed. Go ahead and battlefield advantage yourself again, then, I guess. And we'll do that. This man will drop dead, and the fight is over. All right. Ooh, hey! Demand Slayer's ring is real good. Okay, so. Hmm. See, this is why we're going to have to bail out, chat. It's this, the fact that we have too much swag. I know Soldier Boy teaches us that one can never have too much swag, but we're kind of in an over-swag position. We're over-swag. I have too much swag. Swag. I don't know where I'm going to store it. Swag. Too damn much swag. Okay, chat, we'll test your little theory here on the whole shovel thing. Smashing the bottles reveals treasure. Why it gave us a piece of fire. Only the first okay. test. Now it must be carried home. Is that useful, though? At this point, not really. Because we're going to have to throw our shovels. Can we just use it out of our inventory? We cannot. Well, that sucks. Okay, can we drop that, take the firewood. Oh, you know, if we had been in a room, we might actually have been able to use that from our inventory. Okay, so smashing those does give us shovels, but I don't know. Do we need to camp? We kind of don't. Just check them out. There really seems to be no penalty for touching that thing. Are there any buffs that we might want to get our hands on? guess is the question we've got the firewood but I'm looking at the clock here actually we're gonna have to wrap up the stream chat so we got the firewood we got the camp we'll be back for more darkest dungeon but I'm gonna wrap up the stream for this evening I got to gotta get up early to work this dungeon by the way is ridiculously huge so we'll pick up right here where we left off next to this trait of what looks like beyond room temperature Bree. no wonder the Delicacies are no good. They let the brie get too warm, and now it's all runny. <sighs> it's going to make the wine taste all vinegary. It's just, who threw this party? Really, who threw this party? I got to ask. Probably that guy who shot us in the chest without sending us an invitation to a formal duel seems like the kind of guy who would put together a party where he lets the brie get above room temperature. It's just not cool. It's not cool. 